Hey, you. Uh, hey. Oh, man. Oh, God, this is so comfy. I'm just gonna lie here and suffocate on my own vomit now. I, uh, I had a thing I wanted to tell you. Uh-huh. This room sure looks different when it's spinning. So I was browsing through the used book ads in the paper when I... Listen, Eileen, I'm totally excited about books right now, but... Wait, hear me out! So I noticed this article about a war veteran from Conwell Springs who just died. I remembered that you used to live there and everything, and... Oh, how I wish for joyful, blissful sleep. A and get this! His name was Joseph. Joseph Rain. What did you just say? You knew him, right? I knew it! I knew you'd know him! I haven't seen him since I was a kid. A lifetime ago. Hey, wait a minute. I never told you where I grew up. Oh, well, I, uh, well, I might have sort of looked you up. That is not cool, Eileen. Seriously. I just couldn't help myself. Well, one of these days you're gonna help yourself to a restraining order. I'm just telling you this as a friend. I know. Well, anyway, you should know that the funeral is tomorrow. Okay. Are you gonna go? I don't know. Good night, Eileen. <sighs> Good night, Kathy. Oh, God, make it stop. Looks like Eileen left a note for me here. Hi, Cat. Since it's such a long drive, I set the alarm so you won't miss the funeral. Thank me later. E. I'm so getting a new roommate. Well, I guess I should get going. I'm late enough as it is. Looks handcrafted. Probably something she made in woodworking class. Well, either her or one of her 12 siblings. That movie's not out yet. It's a promo poster Eileen got for being an extra. She tells everyone who walks in here the same joke. Spoiler alert, the boat sinks. I'm fairly sure it's about some guy who falls in love with his golden retriever. I think that movie is about a girl and a boy who hate each other at first, and then they fall in love for no reason at all. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's every romantic comedy ever. Eileen's schedule. There's a note for today. Set alarm clock for Kathy. Can't have her miss the funeral. Eileen makes her bed with surgical precision. Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on it with her full name. Eileen Mildred Summers. Mildred. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna get her for that. I wish I could wrap up that fact and save it for Christmas. Makeup check, hair check, horrible mood, and contempt for humanity check. We meet again, Mr. Bear. Don't give me that look. It's not my fault you ended up so close to my lighter. That action doesn't seem productive to me. Color printer. Super fancy, apparently. A fact which Eileen loves to remind me of. Color printer. Eileen borrowed it from school. She takes a bunch of computer classes. It's some advanced scanner thingy. It can scan pictures, tapes, all sorts of stuff. Our room phone. It's got an external line. The Thing. One of my favorite horror movies. Help me get rid of my last two roommates. My electric guitar. Got it cheap from a lesbian I met at a concert. Good times. Pulp Fiction. Love that flick. Just some random band poster. 
messy, just the way I like it. need a smoke. Does anyone object? Guess not. Dead people rule. We are gathered here today to honor a person of great integrity, a pillar of the community, and a decorated war hero. His name was Joseph Irving Rain. We all remember his warm heart, his compassion, and his eagerness to help others. His passing while our loss is surely heaven's gain. Now we entrust our brother Joseph to God's mercy. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies so they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. Oh, Kathy, you big baby, just talk to her. Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Rain? Have we met, hon? You look strangely familiar. It's me. It's Catherine. Catherine who? You don't recognize me? I guess it's been a while. I might be a bit taller than you remember me. Kathy? Bless my soul. Look at you, all grown up. Oh, how I wish Joseph could see you now, finally coming home. Let's hope he can, wherever he is. A comforting thought, dear. Lord, how long has it been? Ten years? Fifteen? Fifteen sounds about right. I was six when Mom took me away. Goodness, we have some catching up to do then. <laughs> I want to know everything. Listen, I'm not quite ready to leave yet, but why don't you join me at the house in half an hour? Sure, I'd love to. I passed it on my way here. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I'll see you soon, then. I'm so glad you found your way back home. I can't wait for us to have a chance to talk. Same here. See you in a bit. I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. If you wish to find God, the Church of the Holy Trinity is always open to you. Is that so? Here, have a brochure. It's never too late to turn away from the path of sin. And what makes you so sure I'm on a sinful path, Father? Wouldn't you say that prejudice is but a small step from the seven big ones? I simply meant that we are all sinful creatures, child. I hope to see you at the church. Don't get your hopes up, buddy. I'll pray for you. I wish you comfort in this time of grief.
Grandma, anybody home? <laughs>